It is okay to dream about Aprilia Tuono, Ducati Panigale, Yamaha R1 or even Kawasaki Ninja H2R. But let's be honest, very few of us will be able to handle all that power that these superbikes have to offer, and probably even less people will have way over $20,000 to spend on a motorcycle. However, it does not mean that it's impossible to get a decent sports bike on a very limited budget. In this video we'll tackle the category of the cheapest lightweight motorbikes, both fully fared and some naked models, that give you the thrills of tight cornering, fast speeds and still carry affordable prices. So subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell to get notified about the next video and enjoy the ride! Yamaha YCF R3 One of Yamaha's entry-level super sport bikes, the YCF R3 has been on the market since 2015, receiving its first major update after four years on the market. This motorcycle has the aggressive MotoGP bodywork and offers improved ergonomics, achieved by the lower handlebar position, reshaped fuel tank and fold-up footbacks. Its chassis is made from steel and is fitted with an inverted KYB fork in the front and a monocross rear shock. The bike rides on 17-inch 10-spoke cast aluminum wheels with Dunlop Sport Max tires, has LED headlights and is equipped with a dash LCD display. At the R3's heart sits a 321cc liquid-cooled inline twin-cylinder engine that is rated at 56 mpg and delivers the max output of 42 horsepower and 22 pound-feet of torque. Finally, the R3 is now available in limited edition 2020 Monster Energy modification that is inspired by the brand's YCR M1 racer. Kawasaki Ninja 400 being introduced only in 2018, this mid-level bike from Kawasaki's Ninja Sport range can be considered a newcomer compared to many established competitors on the market. This year, it arrives practically unchanged, sporting only a few new paint colors and comes powered by the same 399cc twin-cylinder engine that has a peak torque output of 28 pound-feet at 8000 rpm. With this mill, the Ninja 400 works as a great all-round motorcycle and offers entertaining but manageable performance. At 362 pounds soaking wet, it is also rather lightweight, as Kawasaki engineers truly kept their focus on keeping the weight down. It sits on a slender high tensile steel trellis frame, rides on cast alloy 17-inch wheels and has a shortened wheelbase, measuring only 53.9 inches. Just as the rest of the Ninja family, the 400 boasts of aggressive styling that is, however, paired with comfy ergonomics and riding position. Suzuki GSX 250R With no change in pricing, the GSX 250R enters the 2019 model here without mechanical updates, but adds several new color schemes. Despite having a quite modest powertrain, the GSX 250R carries the exterior markers of its larger and more expensive cousins. For example, the sharp tail and rear lights are reminiscent of the GSX R1000R. The low seat, narrow tank and overall lightweight provide all-day comfort for riders of all sizes. It is equipped with a customizable KYB suspension, which compensates for shock and vibration while giving a perfect handling feedback. The Suzuki's decision to use a quarter-liter pearl twin was dictated by the company's desire to target a larger customer base. For the same reason, the engine has been optimized to deliver higher torque at low and mid-level RPMs, while taking full advantage of its 25 horses at 8000 RPM. KTM RC390 the top model in KTM's range of supersports encapsulates power and agility in its purest form, longing for the racing track with its aggressive design. With a 44-horsepower single-cylinder engine producing 111 mph, the RC390 is trying to satisfy the need for speed of even the most sophisticated riders. Premium quality steel frame, suspension by WP comprised of front upside-down forks and a monoshock at the rear, plus sport handlebars ensure the bike's sharp handling and stability, be it on the sporting arena or on a country road. KTM also thought out the RC390's ergonomics in and out. The two-part seat provides comfortable riding position with improved aerodynamic protection, ensured by the advanced windshield design. In addition, the RC390 features sophisticated electronics and comes with a ride-by-wire throttle system and ABS as a standard. Honda CBR300R 
Available in base and ABS equipped versions, the Sanda bike proves quite convincingly that smart displacement motorcycles can be as sporty and race-like as bigger models. Its handling is exceptional, while the steering light and responsive. The 286cc single-cylinder four-stroke liquid-cooled engine makes 31 horses and 20 pound-feet, delivering this output right when you need it. The CBR300R is built on a steel tubular frame, fitted with simple 37mm forks up front. In the rear, it gets a 5-position adjustable Pro-Link monoshock, which is a must even on the entry-level sport bikes. The seat height is 30.7 inches, allowing shorter riders to feel confident on it. The model also gets single-disc brakes on both wheels, providing great stopping power with braking distance from 60 to 0 mph measured at 138.9 feet. This motorcycle looks purposely super bike-like, so you will definitely stand out on the road. Yamaha MT-07 Formerly known as FC-07 in North America, this motorcycle is the entry-level model within Yamaha's hyper-naked lineup. Its name conceals the description of the key feature. The MT stands for the mastery of torque. The 689cc liquid-cooled four-stroke parallel twin engine with 270-degree cross-plane crankshaft is capable of delivering power in a linear way that will be appropriate for less experienced riders, while veterans will be able to enjoy additional kick. On the outside, the 07 features a refined style to match the rest of the MT family, including an angular headlight, LED taillights, and aggressive intake scoops. The features worth highlighting include but not limited to standard ABS, rear suspension with adjustable preload and rebound damping, and compact full LCD instrument panel. The optional colors in 2019 include matte raven black, breaker cyan, and ice fluo. I won't claim to be an expert in the field, so chances are that some incredible yet affordable models did not make it to the lineup. Moreover, you might not agree with some of my underpowered choices. So make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments below and subscribe to my channel if you think that I got the lineup right. Let's keep going! Kawasaki Z400 This is a standard bike from Kawasaki Z series that debuts for 2019 model year, succeeding the Z300 model. Being closely related to the Ninja 400 motorcycle, the new Z400 borrows some of its main components. The chassis is comprised of the same tubular steel frame with telescopic front forks and revised preload adjustable unit track rear suspension that is now 10% softer. The 45 horsepower 400cc parallel twin engine also comes from the fully fared Ninja Sport bike. Apart from the styling, the most noticeable difference between the two models is the riding position. With exactly the same seat height of 30.9 inches, the Z400 manages to offer more relaxed ergonomics and is more suitable for all-day long riding. This is achieved by widening the handlebar and raising its height by 2 inches, thus making the seating more upright and taking the weight off the rider's wrists. Honda CB500F the 500cc bike range joined Honda's lineup in 2013, and within the trio of CBR500R, CB500X and CB500F, the latter naked is the best-selling model. For many riders, it serves as a bridge to enter the middleweight category of sports motorcycles. In 2019, this two-wheeler gets a significant makeover that focuses on the engine, frame, and to some extent exterior looks. Residing in the A2 license compliant class, the CB500F's output is limited to 46 horses and 32 pound feet, still making it the most powerful and torquey model out of the bunch. The liquid cooled 471cc pearl twin got revised inlet, exhaust, and valve timing to produce 4% more power and torque in the key 3000 to 7000 RPM range. A new slipper assist clutch lightens up the clutch lever effort by 45%. Plus, since 2019, the bike gets new easy-to-read LCD screen with digital speedometer, tachometer, and much more. BMW Motorrad G310R Being the first BMW Roadster under 500cc, the model offers maneuverability and dynamic performance characteristic for the series, but is also comfortable to ride, economical, and easy to manage. First revealed back in 2015, this two-wheeler has since developed a reputation for being a decent and affordable buy for the new and slightly more experienced bikers alike. The G310R is a lightweight, 
weighing just under 350 pounds on a full tank. So at 34 horsepower, 313cc single cylinder engine feels rather robust and powerful. True, the smell can sound somewhat lawn mowerish at times, but its growl becomes stronger and more pleasant as it reaches high revs. Plus, the 90 miles per hour top speed make it suitable for city and highway riding. It is worth noting that this BMW is assembled in India, but by many accounts, this does not affect the quality in any way. Benelli Tornado 302R The company's first mass-produced two-cylinder motorcycle in the entry segment shows some fairing resemblance of its Asian counterparts, but keeps its genuine Italian flair. Benelli designers created a sporty, dynamic, and at the same time concise exterior in the best traditions of the Italian school. The first thing that you're likely to notice is a sharp twin-pot headlamp, and it is larger than any competitor in the class could offer. The 302R features a brake system with two floating discs on the front wheel and a single piston caliper brake on the rear, which provides high stability and endurance on the road. It is powered by a 300cc liquid-cooled twin made it to the 6-speed transmission. Electronic fuel injection provides clear and efficient operation in all modes, while the exhaust system is equipped with catalytic converter and oxygen sensors. KTM RC125 As the most affordable fully fared KTM, this motorbike is a great option for inexperienced riders and the only model on our list that can be ridden with an A1 license. Design-wise, the RC125 looks very similar to a more powerful RC200. This is understandable, considering the fact that it features similar ergonomics and the identical mechanical setup, including steel trellis frame, front and rear suspension by WP and Brembo brakes with ABS. At the same time, the RC125 shares the state-of-the-art one-cylinder engine with another KTM model, the Naked 125 Duke. While the max output of 15 ponies may not seem like much, the bike easy goes beyond 60 miles per hour with great performance at mid and high revs. Plus, its 2.65 gallon fuel tank is also big enough to ensure non-stop all-day fun with respectful range, even when ridden in a sport mode. How did you like this lineup of affordable sports bikes? Just imagine buying them used and saving even more cash. As mentioned before, do not hesitate to criticize this lineup in the comments below and leave your suggestions of affordable models. Consider watching other episodes of Automotive Territory by following the links on the screen. Subscribe to the channel and may the torque be with you!